Air power has always defined global power. Whoever controls the skies controls the war. And in 2026, the race for air superiority has never been more intense. Fighter jets today are stealth assassins, data hubs, and symbols of national ambition. From Washington to Beijing, Moscow to Seoul, the race to rule the air has never been fiercer. Before we start, here's how we're ranking them. Stealth, sensors, weapons, range, and real-world operations. Welcome to Flying Corps. Today, we're looking at the top seven fighter jets every country should watch in 2026. So let's begin the countdown. The J-20 Mighty Dragon is China's crown jewel. It represents Beijing's determination to break America's monopoly on stealth fighters. First revealed in 2011, it raised eyebrows around the world. But in 2026, the J-20 isn't just a prototype, it's a frontline weapon. This aircraft was designed for one purpose, to push American forces back in the Pacific. Unlike smaller stealth fighters like the F-35, the J-20 has a huge frame. That space translates into more fuel and longer range, allowing it to reach U.S. support aircraft, the high-value tankers and surveillance planes that keep the American war machine running. Take those out, and suddenly, U.S. fighters lose their lifeline. China is also deploying the PL-15, a missile with a range believed to exceed 200 miles. Paired with the J-20's advanced radar and satellite links, this gives Chinese pilots the ability to engage targets long before the enemy even knows they're being hunted. And with the arrival of the indigenous WS-15 engine, the mighty Dragon is finally shedding its dependency on Russian technology. The U.S. built the F-22 to dominate the skies. China built the J-20 to neutralize that dominance. And every time a mighty Dragon takes off from a runway near the South China Sea, it signals Beijing's intent to change the balance of power. China built reach. Russia built rage. The Su-57 felon doesn't try to hide. It dares you to come close. The Su-57 felon is Russia's long-awaited leap into the fifth generation. Meant to rival America's stealth fighters, it stalled for decades under delays and sanctions. Now, by 2026, Russia is finally fielding more of them. And despite the criticisms, the felon demands attention. What makes the Su-57 different is its philosophy. The Americans designed the F-22 and F-35 to be invisible. Russia designed the Su-57 to be a hunter. It doesn't hide as well, but it fights with ferocity. In a close-range fight, the felon has one trick almost no rival can counter. With a snap of its engines, it can twist in mid-air, forcing enemies to overshoot. Only then do you realize you've flown straight into a kill zone. The Felon also carries the R-37M missile, a weapon capable of hitting targets more than 200 miles away at hypersonic speeds. That gives it the reach to challenge NATO aircraft like AWACS surveillance planes, which are critical for Western air power. Russia has already tested Su-57s in Ukraine, using them to fire long-range standoff weapons while keeping the jets away from enemy air defenses. By 2026, Moscow plans to expand the fleet and incorporate sixth-generation tech like loyal wingman drones and advanced electronic warfare suites. The Su-57 is far from perfect. It isn't as stealthy as America's fighters, and Russia can't afford to build them in huge numbers. But in the hands of Russian pilots, armed with long-range missiles, the felon is still a predator every NATO planner has to respect. But Russia isn't the only one rewriting the playbook. Out of nowhere, South Korea showed the world it can build a fighter of its own. KF-21 Boramai is the underdog story of modern aviation. Just a decade ago, South Korea relied almost entirely on American designs. Now it's building its own advanced multi-role fighter. And by 2026, the world is starting to take it very seriously. The KF-21 is sometimes called a 4.5 generation jet. It isn't fully stealth yet, but it has stealth shaping, cutting edge avionics, and a modern ISA radar that makes it nearly invisible in practice. 
Think of it as a bridge between the classic fighters of the past and the stealth aircraft of the future. The real danger? Price. The KF-21 costs a fraction of an F-35. That means countries who could never afford American stealth now have another option. If Seoul undercuts Washington, the U.S. doesn't just lose sales, it risks losing influence. Indonesia is already a partner in the project, and others in Southeast Asia could follow. Future versions of the Boramai will feature internal weapons bays and full stealth coatings, pushing it into the fifth generation category. That evolution means South Korea is positioning itself not just as a buyer of military hardware, but as a producer that can rival the big players. This fighter jet is a message. South Korea is no longer dependent on American protection to secure its skies. It's building the capability to defend itself and even supply others. For an emerging power in a volatile region, the KF-21 is a game changer. Asia is rising, but Europe isn't standing still. The Typhoon proves old designs can still dominate when you keep upgrading them. The Eurofighter Typhoon is Europe's answer to the modern fighter race, and even in 2026, it's one of the most dangerous jets in the sky. Born from a coalition of Britain, Germany, Italy, and Spain, it's a reminder that Europe can produce world-class air power when it works together. On paper, it shouldn't compete with stealth jets, but in the skies, speed and the Meteor missile make it lethal. Any pilot who underestimates the Typhoon could find themselves outgunned before they even know it. With powerful EJ-200 engines, it can supercruise, fly at supersonic speeds without afterburners. That saves fuel and lets it chase down opponents over long ranges. Then there's the Meteor missile, arguably the most advanced beyond visual range air to air weapon in the world. Unlike traditional missiles that burn out quickly, the Meteor's ramjet sustains powered flight, allowing it to pursue maneuvering targets at extreme distances. When a Typhoon pilot fires one, the enemy has almost no escape. The Typhoon has been upgraded with advanced AESA radars and electronic warfare suites, making it effective in both air dominance and ground attack roles, and it's widely exported. From Saudi Arabia to Qatar, it's flying combat air patrols in some of the most contested regions of the world. In 2026, the Typhoon will remain Europe's frontline guardian. And with constant upgrades, it will remain lethal for decades to come. For adversaries, ignoring the Typhoon is a mistake they can't afford to make. If the Typhoon is Europe's team project, the Rafale is France's solo masterpiece. And it has something the Typhoon doesn't, a flawless combat record. The Rafale has flown missions in Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, Syria, and Iraq. It's proven itself in dogfights, precision strikes, and carrier operations. The French Air Force calls it Omni-Roll for a reason. This jet can do it all in a single sortie. What makes it especially relevant in 2026 is its global reach. India, Greece, Egypt, Qatar, and the UAE have all bought Rafales. That means French-designed fighters are flying patrols from the Mediterranean to the Indian Ocean. Few jets have that kind of footprint. Technologically, the Rafale is cutting edge. Its Spectra electronic warfare system is one of the most advanced in the world, capable of jamming enemy radar and protecting the jet from missile threats. Future upgrades will add stealth coatings, new radars, and integration with next-gen European weapons. For critics, the Rafale was once seen as too expensive, but its versatility, reliability, and export success have proven otherwise. By 2026, the Rafale will be more than just a French fighter. It's a cornerstone of air power for half a dozen nations. And that global presence makes it one of the most important jets in the world. But even the Rafale's global footprint is overshadowed by the next one. The F-35, it's everywhere, forming a network no rival can match. The F-35. 
Lightning II is the most ambitious fighter program in history. Love it or hate it, by 2026, it has become the backbone of Western air power. Over 1,000 F-35s are flying worldwide, creating a network of allied nations all using the same jet. The F-35's advantage isn't raw speed or maneuverability. It's information dominance. Its radar and sensors can see farther than almost any other aircraft. And more importantly, it shares that data instantly with other jets, ships, and ground forces. That makes it less of a fighter and more of a quarterback, coordinating the entire battle. It comes in three variants, the F-35A for Air Forces, the F-35B with vertical landing for Marines, and the F-35C for Carriers. That flexibility means it can operate almost anywhere. And with continuous upgrades, Block 4 enhancements include new weapons and better computing power. The F-35 only gets more dangerous with time. Critics complain about cost and maintenance, but the numbers speak for themselves. Nations keep buying it because nothing else offers the same combination of stealth, sensors, and interoperability. In 2026, the F-35 is not just an aircraft, it's a system a global web of allied air power that no rival can easily match. But above networks, above numbers, there's still one fighter every pilot fears. The F-22 Raptor, untouchable, unmatched. Even though production ended in 2012, nothing in 2026 can touch it. The Raptor was the world's first true fifth-generation fighter, and decades later, it's still the gold standard. With unmatched stealth, supercruise at Mach 1.8, and agility that leaves enemies helpless, the F-22 dominates both beyond visual range and close-in dogfights. What makes it untouchable is exclusivity. The U.S. banned exports of the Raptor, meaning no other country in the world has access to it. For adversaries, that means America holds a weapon they can't copy, buy, or steal. By 2026, the fleet is receiving upgrades, new radars, better sensors, and advanced weapons to keep it sharp. And while America develops its next-generation fighter, the Raptor ensures the skies remain firmly in U.S. hands. When rival pilots talk about the aircraft they fear most, the answer is always the same. The F-22 Raptor. Seven fighters, seven visions of air dominance. China's J-20 reaching farther than ever. Russia's Su-57 daring challengers to come close. South Korea's KF-21 proving it can rise on its own. Europe's Typhoon and Rafale holding the line with precision and reach and America's F-35 and F-22 weaving a web of unmatched dominance. Together, they define the skies of 2026. But if your life depended on one, which jet would you trust? Tell us in the comments. And up next, America's newest stealth bomber takes center stage, the B-21 Raider. It's the aircraft built to dominate the skies for decades to come. You don't want to miss it, so stay tuned.